5, Unit 18, subtracting three-digit numbers from three-digit numbers. In 18.1, we're subtracting from numbers up to 500. Let's look at example A. If we start off in the ones column, 7 minus 5 equals 2. In the tens column, 7 minus 4 equals 3. And in the hundreds column, 4 minus 1 equals 3. For a final answer of 332. Let's look at example B. We have some missing numbers that we need to fill in. So let's look first at the ones column. 7 minus 5 does in fact equal 2. 6 minus what number would equal 0? Well, we can take 6 away and it equals 0. 4 minus what number equals 2? We can subtract 2 to fill in the rest of our missing numbers. Unit 18.2, subtract from numbers up to 600. Let's look at example A. When we look at the ones column, you cannot subtract 5 from 1. So we have to go over to the tens column and borrow from the 6 and make it a 5. That in turn makes the 1 an 11. So 11 minus 5 is 6. Now when we go to the tens column, you now cannot subtract 9 from 5. So we have to go to the hundreds column and borrow and make that 5 a 4. That in turn makes the 5 a 15. Now 15 minus 9 you can subtract, that gives us 6. 4 minus 2 gives us 2 for an answer of 266. Let's look at example B. We have a missing number that we want to fill in. 4 minus blank equals 9. Well, that's not possible with a single digit number. So that lets us know that at some point we had to borrow from the 6 and make it a 5 and make that 4 a 14. Now we know that 14 minus 5 is 9, so 5 is our missing number. Unit 18.3, subtract from numbers up to 700. Let's look at example A. We have another missing number that we want to fill in. If we look at the ones column, we're good there. Zero minus zero is zero. If we look at the tens column, four minus a number equals eight, not possible with a single digit number. So again, we know that we had to borrow from the hundreds column in order to make the four a 14. Now 14 minus six does give us eight, so six is our missing number. Unit 18.4, subtract from numbers up to 800. Example B, let's start with the ones just to check. Eight minus three is five. Six minus five is one. So what would we have to subtract one from to equal three? Our missing number is four. Unit 18.5, subtract from numbers up to 900. Let's look at example A. We start off in the ones column. You cannot subtract seven from six. So we're gonna borrow from the four in the tens column and make it a three. That in turn makes the six a 16. 16 minus seven is nine. In the tens column, three minus three is zero. And in the one hundreds column, eight minus four is four. For an answer of 409. Let's look at example B. We have a missing number that we want to fill in. So here we go. If we're starting the ones column, we know that you, that you couldn't have subtracted six and seven and gotten nine. But we do know that that could have been a 16 minus seven to get us nine. So we ended up having to borrow from this number that we're not quite sure what it is yet. If we look in the last column, which is the hundreds column here, we do know that six minus four is two, so we didn't have to borrow again. So what number did we have to have to subtract three to get zero? Well, that would have been a three, but we had to borrow initially, so our missing number is four.